niacinamide. It pick up any skincare product you have right now and you'll probably see the word niacinamide. Now, why? <laughs> I think in the past three to four years, niacinamide, you find people talking about it like it's the newest holy grail ingredient. And is it new? Uh, no, it's not new. It's been around for like years and years and years. But what happens, right? Trends come back, things become trendy, and then everybody goes mad about it. So the question is, is it worth it? Is it the ingredient that is going to give you the best skin of your life. That is what we are trying to understand in this video. Okay. And also, what's the percentage of niacinamide that you should be using? That is the most important. So, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you're watching me for the first time, hi, I'm Smile. And we do this series here on Instagram, me on YouTube called Layer by Layer. <clears throat> so, this is basically for you to understand skincare on a deeper level so that you don't find yourself confused. You don't find yourself following for the marketing gimmicks and you know exactly what you're doing. Okay. If you've been watching the series, you, you know, we spoke about cleansers. We spoke about exfoliating acids. And then I was like, what's the next step? Serums, right? And serums are so huge and there are so many ingredients. And I, I was like, I can't make one video that covers all the serums in the world. But what I can do is make videos which are focused on one ingredient at a time anyway without wasting any time what is niacinamide okay get your notepads get your notepads okay so niacinamide is a vitamin b3 something that our body does not produce on its own okay b3 deficiencies are very rare you will find b12 de deficiencies but it can happen. So we get B3 basically from poultry, meat, nuts, a uh, lot of vegetables. That's where our body gets B3 from. Okay. Now, when there is a deficiency of B3, there is a sort of a condition that happens, a, a illness that is called pelagro or pelagro. Anyway, doesn't matter. In that illness, you get like diarrhea, you get uh, anemic and blah, blah, blah. And the medicine that is prescribed generally is niacin. Now, niacin or uh, the technical term for it. Oh, this is not the right page. Sorry. Huh. The technical term, the nicotinic acid, it causes this. Um, when you take it, obviously, it's going to help you. But then it causes this redness. But its cousin is niacinamide, also known as nicotinamide nicotinamide okay so there's niacin there's niacinamide we're talking about niacinamide because that's what skincare is is concerned with okay? chapter two what does niacinamide do niacinamide increases your skin's immunity what does that mean remember in the first episode we spoke about this brick wall the barrier that we spoke about our skin has cement break cement break and the lipids that are holding it together so niacinamide helps in regulating that lipid, in regulating that cholesterol that is in your skin, that is holding the barrier together. Another thing that niacinamide does is it reduces redness, inflammation. It's a very, very friendly ingredient, so to say, right? Because it boosts the other ingredients that you're using in your skincare. It can regulate your oil production. So it can help with acne, right? It can help with those, my kind of skin type, which is acne prone, oily. And it can also help you even out your skin tone. Now, because there are so many of these benefits, you're like, yeah, I want niacinamide, right? Chapter three, what is the percentage of niacinamide that you need? Because that's the most important. If you are starting out, if you are, if you're somebody dealing with a sensitive skin, also, I also have sensitive skin or if you're just looking for a barrier protection, then two to 3% of niacinamide is more than enough. Just remember, ati se amrit bhi zeher ho jata hai. If you increase the percentage of niacinamide that your skin doesn't need, you will get inflamed, you will get irritation, and it's going to make your skin red. So, ones who are sensitive, they want a barrier repair, they, they're starting out, two to 3% more than enough. For the ones who are looking for an oil control, acne issues, if you have, if you're looking for more of a brightening effect, then 4 to 5% niacinamide is good for you. Now, 10% niacinamide, I will say nobody. Don't, don't use it. You don't need it. It's not going to be beneficial. It's going to irritate your skin. It's going to cause redness, inflammation. It's going to sting. So we don't need anything above 10%. Actually, we're not going to 10% only. 5% more than enough. 
इफ यू स्टार्टिंग आउट टू टू थ्री परसेंट ठीक है नाउ लाइक आई साइड नाइस सिनेमाइड हेल्प्स अदर इंग्रीडियंट्स वर्क बेटर सो देर आर सम यू नो कॉम्बिनेशन दैट यू कैन यूज आई टेल यू वट दीज आर हाउ टू पेयर नाया सिनेमाइड ओके सो if you have pigmentation which means if you have acne spots if you have any kind of discoloration you want to you know even out your skin tone then you're going to use niacinamide with tranexamic acid which is TXA uh, we will have a separate video about TXA uh, later on you can use licorice root you can use arbutin which are all brightening agents with niacinamide it will even out your skin tone if your issue is that you have acne oily prone skin then use niacinamide with zinc pca use it with salicylic acid it's going to be very helpful but if your issue is barrier repair if you have a broken barrier if you have sensitive skin then you should use niacinamide with panthenol again panthenol is b5 it's my favorite but today we're not talking about panthenol we will in the coming videos or you can also pair it with ceramides so this is how you're going to go about it some myths that uh, can you use niacinamide with retinol you probably can if it's 2 3% it's not going to harm you can you use niacinamide with vitamin c yes you can again if it's a 10% don't use it at all or and don't use it with anything else but if it's 2 3% yes you can add it in your routine now there are some products that i want to recommend to you first i'll show you the ones that i have i have this dr althea 345 cream now a lot of people use this cream wrong people think this cream is for acne it's not for acne this cream is your after acne care so what happens when you get a lot of acne right your barrier is destroyed this cream helps because it has niacinamide it will help you even out your skin tone it has panthenol it has centella asiatica so it's going to calm your skin down at the same time even out your skin tone a little bit of course there are some stubborn acne spots that niacinamide alone will not be able to get rid of but just like a uh, added because it's going to boost if you're using like a uh, if you're really using specific for the pigment then it's going to help it boost whatever ingredient that you're using right the next one i think i've showed it in the earlier uh, video also this is the pore plus dark spot brightening serum this has niacinamide tranexamic acid so remember i said if you have pigmentation and you attach niacinamide with a brightening agent like tranexamic acid it works really well so guys it's about having a formulation that is a beautiful formulation working together like a beautiful dish it's, it's everything every ingredient makes sense right so a product like this this is from selimax it's their pore plus dark uh, spot brightening serum i like it now there are some other products that i have been researching so i can let you know if you have oily acne prone uh, skin blackheads and you just want you know something that is mild and something that's going to support your barrier then there is a beauty of josan glow serum the reason i like it is because it has combined uh, salicylic acid which is your bha with niacinamide and propolis so it's calming it's giving you that niacinamide benefit at the same time if you are oily acne prone it's giving you that salicylic acid ka exfoliation so again a good formulation theek okay? hai the second uh, one i have for you is the ole regenerist micro sculpting night uh, night cream so this one again has panthenol it has vitamin e peptides again a beautiful combination and because it's not in a serum form you can use it at night at a, as a cream you can just wash your face apply your toner if you are if you're using a toner and just use the cream and not have to do multiple steps which i like honestly speaking i i would like that now the next one i have for you is the derma co 5% niacinamide serum now if you have dark spots if you have uneven skin tone and dealing with pigmentation this is the one i think i would recommend also this is the most affordable one in all the list <laughs> products that i've just mentioned so i like something that has great formulation at the same time it is really affordable so i i will always give you all kind of you know commercial ranges and depending on your budget that you can invest in and yeah that was niacinamide now if i have to say is it worth the hype i do not like the fact that almost all serums creams sunscreen cleanser i don't need niacinamide in everything i don't need that right why, why do you need that and the problem is that now that you when you go out buying looking for skin care let's say your uh, problem is that it's pigmentation 
anybody can call their product brightening just because they add niacinamide in it. But actually, when you use niacinamide with other brightening agents, that is when it is powerful on its own. I'm not saying it's not sorry, it's not going to do anything. Of course, it will do something. But the effect of it will be so much more powerful if it is combined with brightening agents, right? So don't fall for the marketing gimmicks. I would say you don't need more than one niacinamide product in your entire routine because, <laughs> duh, why, why do I want to use niacinamide in my cleanser, in my serum, in my moisturizer, in my sunscreen? It's going to irritate my skin. I don't need that, okay? Even though it is such a friendly ingredient and now we know it does so many things. It regulates your oil, it even out your skin tone, it gives you that... Um, barrier repair it is uh, good for acne prone it has so many benefits but we are stripping away its benefits why because now every product is in niacinamide so that is not worth it for this three to four year period before niacinamide got a new pr agent it was already in our creams and in our lotions and now every brand wants to put it on its label so that they are also in trend right so be aware of that make sure that you're not you know um, Make sure the ingredients, you see the ingredients, what are there in your product so that you're not causing more harm to your skin. I hope this episode taught you something. And if you're still watching, then comment. Comment and tell me how many products you have right now that have niacinamide already in them. Okay? And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, just remember you're the most amazing, beautiful, wonderful human being. And here is a Kala Tika for you.